yes yes people welcome back to my channel big stricto here uh before i start just like to remind you don't forget to like share subscribe whatever it is that these people tell you to do but do it for me now um just getting the news that um pierre emmerich obama yang has left the club to barcelona on a permanent deal um yeah um so that's that chapter um at arsenal done for him um i mean i've been critical of his performances at times but let's be honest you can't deny his contribution for the club in a short time his goals um his goals that won us our last trophy the fa cup against chelsea putting putting zuma in a spliff that should never ever be forgotten um i think at the time we had him at the time we got him we needed him um he came to you know he came he done what he was supposed to do and can't hold him can't hold him on that um again the captaincy curse continues you know you think of all our captains um have moved on um in 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 uh what boy in was it acron acronymonious ways i don't even know man. i'm just using words i don't even know the meaning to but um yeah and oba's no different you know um i like to think um that he's going to come out and say his piece on this whole mess you know, whether or not you agree or disagree with him losing his captaincy, I'll be honest, I, I kind of agreed with it based on what I knew. And he hasn't really come out to say much. He's let the club do a lot of the talking. So we've come to our own conclusion based on that. And I hope, you know, <clears throat> he's able to open up and say what really happened. But it really stinks. Like, it really stinks when you think of players like Granite Xhaka who have insulted the fans, yeah? Not the club. The fans, the people who keep the club running, us, us who pay our money, who travel far and wide, worldwide, to come and watch games. Um, and let's be honest, in recent years, to come and watch disappointments. That's what we do as fans, Arsenal fans. We come to watch disappointments week in, week out. We might get games where we're not as disappointed as other games, but overall, it is disappointments. And... Um, to reward, yeah, and I've said this before, this club rewards failure. And to reward Granite Shaka, who, as far as I'm concerned, is one of the worst players to play for Arsenal. Nobody can tell me anything. I've watched him long enough to know this guy hasn't got a ceiling. Talk less to say he's reached his ceiling. He doesn't have a ceiling for Arsenal. I don't give a fuck. What he does for Switzerland, I don't support Switzerland. I've got no emotional tie, no financial ties to Switzerland whatsoever. I don't give a fuck about Switzerland. I'm big up all the Swiss people, no disrespect to your nation. But in terms of in terms of Granite Shack and Arsenal, hasn't worked out. And to have this guy, yeah, rewarded with a new contract when all he does is the fight divide the fan base. Throwing to there, yeah, betting allegations, betting uh, irre irre irregularities. There you go, yeah. And we still have to live with this guy for the rest of the season. For the rest of the season, this guy doesn't have an injury record. Whenever Shaka's out, it's because of indiscipline. You never hear Shaka's out because of. Of, of, of groin, hamstring, whatever. Never. This guy brings nothing to this club. Nothing. I ask people time and time again, tell me one thing Granite Shaka is good at. It's a simple question. One thing. And the most you'll get is he's experienced. He does nothing with this experience. He does nothing with this experience. And we have to time and time and time again live with this guy stopping us progressing. Now back to Oba. In a short time, he's done what he has to do as a centre forward. 
score goals, the quantity of goals. He's, 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 he's reached 50 goals faster than most of our legends. Ian Wright, Thierry Henry. That is crazy. And for me, I've got no problem with him going. I make that clear. I've got no problem. In fact, I've got no problem with any player going. But I think how he's been treated is disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. You've hung him out to dry. Most clubs draw, sand, draw a line under the sand and keep it moving. We saw it with Chelsea and Lukaku. We're seeing it now with um, 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 Ivan Tony and Brentford. Cool. You, you, you did what you're doing. You receive your punishment. We move on. But this has dragged on. This is a bitter ending. This guy deserves a better exit than what he's got. Ateta, you should have been out time ago. Obama Yang has saved you time and time and time again. I remember when we when he signed his extension. The big promo the club done and you know the the, the videos. Like it was a huge deal, it was a big deal. Almost as big as the promos done when we brought him here. And to have him exit in this fashion, I think the club need to be more transparent. Yes, more transparent. Or if they've or tra or be transparent, period. And I can't wait. I really cannot wait to hear Ober's side of the story. I really cannot wait to hear the uh, inside of the story. You know? And to be honest, I wish him all the best. But the club, once again, have been found wanting. You got rid of Maitland-Niles. Again, like I said, I have no problems with players leaving. Players come and go all the time. But the plan is, yeah, when you have a squad that's thin, a squad that lacks quality, yeah, and you're getting rid of players left, left and right, and you're bringing none in. Yeah? So you're getting rid of quantity and refusing to bring in quality. There's a problem there. So we have to then depend on the, 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 the lack of quality that we've got to push us over the line, to push us top four. Make no mistake, Mikel Arteta and Edu, if this club, if this Club does not finish top four this season. You might need to fucking walk. You need to walk. Anything outside of top four is unacceptable. Will not be accepted. We're not in Europe. We're not in any lot of domestic co um, co competitions. So you can't blame fatigue. Because often that's what we hear. The players are fatigued. Fixtures pile up. None of that. Don't want to hear none of that. And you haven't prepared... To finish top four. As fans, we can see your lack of prep preparation. We see that we see we're seeing this happen in slow motion. You can see the car is about to hit hit. I don't even want to use a child, but you can see the car is about to hit someone. You can see it in slow motion. It's happening. And you want us to move forward. You want you want us to, to strike top four with Eddie and Ketia and Lacazette. These are our main threats. Like I said, Laka will not get you 20 goals a season, but Laka will be involved in 20 goals. I give him that. But he's not bagging 20 goals a season. In Ketia, I'm not sold by him at all. I thought, I, I, I thought he was out the door, to be honest with you. And you're depending on these guys to contribute to us finishing top four. Teams around us are strengthening. Tottenham have strengthened. West Ham have, have, have strengthened. Everton. All these other teams are Liverpool. So, what you've basically told us is you believe in this squad. So, this is the process we're supposed to trust. I have been Arteta out. I have been Arteta in. I have been Arteta maybe. I'm so confused. I'm so confused. I can't sit on one solid side because of the inconsistency. But enough is enough now. You've got to the end of the season. You and Edu. 
till the end of the season. You convinced Granit Xhaka to stay. You did that. There's no way I personally, personally, I will apologize. I will lick the floor. Yeah, if this team proves me wrong and finishes in top four, I will lick the floor. I will apologize. No problem. Because at the end of the day, top four is, is, what, is what we need. But more, more, more important than that is consistency. It's consistency. This club deserves to be in, 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 in the highest echelons of, 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 of Europe. If we don't get top four, yeah, walk, walk. We're not seeing consistent performances. These players are not giving us consistent performances. There's nothing. There's nothing to be excited. Josh Kroenke, you said there's nothing to be excited. We spend thousands to watch this club, to support this club. We get bantered online. So this is on your head, 